What's up guys? This is Engineer Jack and this is Hydraulics. So today, magbibigay ulit ako ng example problems in solving pressures and this is the part 3 of our video presentation. So balikan ko muna ang guys yung ibig sabihin ng fluid pressures. So yung fluid pressures are measured with respect to two pressure references. So we have the zero pressure and the atmospheric pressure. So yung pressures measured with respect to a true zero pressure reference are known as absolute pressures. Pero kung reference naman natin is yung atmospheric pressure, ang makakuha naman natin na pressure are known as gauge pressures. So for example, meron tayong liquid or water and this is the water surface. So kukuha ko ng 3 points above the water surface. So we have P1, P2 and the atmospheric pressure na nakalocate sa surface mismo ng water. So yung P1 and P2 are atmospheric pressures kasi nga nasa atmosphere. So, para makuha natin yung P1 and P2, equivalent lang yan sa yung P1, that is the atmospheric pressure, minus or less the unit weight of air times yung elevation of P1 from the water surface. And yung P2 then ganun din, so atmospheric pressure, minus the unit weight of the air times yung H2 nga or the elevation from the water surface. And yung atmospheric pressure natin, pag hindi given, ibig sabihin, tatandaan nyo yung constant niya, which is 101,325 pascal or newtons per square meter. So, yan yung value niya, pag nakametric. Pero pag naka-English naman, that is 14.7 PSI or naka-pounds per square inch. So, kung mapansin nyo, yung value of P1 is less than the value of P2. And yung P2 naman, that is less than the value of APM. Ibig sabihin, Pag umaangat tayo sa water surface, magliless yung pressure natin. Tapos pag downward naman yung direction natin, medyo mas malaki yung value naman ng pressure natin o magdalagdan. So, kailangan natin yan, ma-apply natin yan sa mga example problems mamaya. So next, kuha din ulit ako ng particles at the bottom of the water or sa mismong liquid na tayo. So we have P3 and P4. So yung P3 and P4 can be a gauge pressures or absolute pressure. So paano ba makuha yan? So if P3 is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus yung unit weight of water times yung H3 or elevation niya from the water surface, uh, yung makukuha natin dito is absolute pressure. Same lang din sa P4. So pag nag-add tayo ng uh, atmospheric, yung makukuha natin is absolute pressure. But kung ang reference natin is yung atmospheric pressure, Ibig sabihin, isat natin as zero yung atmospheric. Yung makukuha natin this time is yung gauge pressures lang. Kaya wala dito yung atmospheric pressure. Kasi nga, pag sinat natin yung atmospheric as zero, ibig sabihin yung makukuha natin is gauge pressures. So yung P3 then is less than P4. So ibig sabihin, habang bumababa tayo, kung or downward yung direction natin, mas dumalaki or nagdadagdag tayo ng pressure. Pero pag aangat naman tayo, same pa rin sa atmospheric or sa atmosphere, Pag umaanga tayo, magli-less din yung pressure natin. So, for our first problem, in the figure, calculate the pressure at point M. So, ito yung point M. And meron tayong uh, pipe. This is a pipe. Tapos, meron tayong dalawang liquid. Tapos, yung dulo ng second liquid uh, exposed sa atmosphere. So, yung water, ito yung water niya. So, from point M and itong line, ito yung pipe na to. That's, meron siyang laman na water. And itong color green, uh, that is the liquid naman. Wala siyang pangalan. Pero yung, meron siyang specific gravity na 1.6. So first, kunin muna natin guys yung unit weight of water and the unit weight of the liquid. So for unit weight of water, that is equivalent to the density of water times the gravitational acceleration. So we have 1000 kg per cubic meter times 9.81 meter per second square and that is 9810 newton per cubic meter. And for liquid naman, that is equivalent to the density of the liquid times the gravitational acceleration. The density of the liquid, that is equivalent lang sa the specific gravity of that liquid times the density of water times G. And yung density of water times the gravitational acceleration, that is also equal to the unit weight of water. So, pwede din sabihin natin na yung unit weight of the liquid, that is equal to the specific gravity of the liquid times the unit weight of water. So, substitute, so meron tayong specific gravity of the liquid na meron tayong 1.6 and the, the unit weight of water that is 9,810 Newton per cubic meter. So, meron tayong unit weight of the liquid now na 15,696 Newton per cubic meter. 
So this is the unit weight of water, 9, 8, 10. And for the unit weight of the liquid, that is 15,696 Newton per cubic meter. So for this problem, meron tayong dalawang solution. So unahin ko muna na guys yung solution 1. So for solution 1, kailangan natin tandaan guys na yung pressure measured with respect to atmospheric pressure are known as gauge pressures. So for this problem, yung atmosphere natin or atmospheric pressure, yun yung magiging reference natin. So iset natin as 0 siya. So for point M or pressure at M, kung same yung kasi yung formula, di ba, yung formula ng pressure is unit weight times height. So nakadependa lang yung pressure sa elevation niya. So for example, meron tayong datum or ito yung reference natin, reference line. So kung same yung height niya from the datum, yung point M from the pipe, yung pipe natin is horizontal, ibig sabihin yung pressure dito is same din. So this is pressure at M din. So meron tayong liquid na water. For example, uh, yung length niya is x kasi di, di natin di given so magagamit tayo ng mga variable. So, yung length nito is x. And dito, that is x plus 30 centimeters or x plus 0.3 meters. And dito sa baba, yung for, ano naman, for the liquid, let's say yung height niya is y, variable y. And dito naman, yung height dito is y plus 55 centimeters or y plus 0 0.55 meters. So, yung PM nga equal dito sa at point M dito. Tapos, kung aangat tayo, sabi ko kanina, pag aangat tayo, magli-less tayo or mag-minus. So, mag-minus tayo, if this water, gagamitin natin is the unit weight of water. So, minus unit weight of water times yung height niya is X. Tapos, yung pressure, itong makukuha natin dito, yung pressure dito. Tapos, pag ilipat naman tayo dito, ang pressure dito is equal dito. Tapos, mag-add tayo kasi downward naman tayo. So, kukunin natin na pressure is at this point. Kaya, mag-add tayo ng same liquid then So, this is water. So, plus unit weight of water times this X plus 30 centimeters or X plus 0.3 meters. So, makukuha natin dito after natin i-add yan. So, yung pressure natin at this point. So, mag-summation of pressure sa tayo. Then, pagdating dito sa point na to, pag downward, mag-add tayo ng pressure. So, mag-add naman tayo ng for Y naman or for the liquid. So, mag-add tayo ng the unit weight of the liquid times yung height niya is Y. Tapos, yung pressure at this point equal din dito sa pressure at this point. So, pag-aangat naman tayo para makuha natin dito, yung pressure, uh, dapat magma-minus tayo kasi aangat. So, magma-minus tayo ng unit weight of the liquid times yung Y natin kasi this is Y plus 0 0.55 meters or 55 centimeters. So, sabi ko nga kanina, yung pag yung reference natin is yung atmospheric, equate natin sa 0. Kaya, makukuha natin dito is gauge pressure. Pero pag inequate natin itong equation sa atmospheric pressure or yung 101.325 Pascal, ay uh, yung makukuha natin na PM that is absolute pressure. Pero kung hindi naman sinabi sa problem, automatic gauge pressure dapat yung kukunin natin. So, substitute the value of the unit weight of water. So, meron tayong 9,810. And for unit weight of the liquid naman, meron tayong 15,696 Newton per cubic meter. So, kung papapansin nyo dito, uh, magka-cancel itong 9,810 times x dito. Kasi pag itong 9,810, i-distribute natin dito sa x plus 0.30 equal to 0. So, magka-cancel yung dalawa. Ang mga is positive 9810 times 0.30. So yan. Then dito naman sa baba, magka-cancel din yan kasi pag in natin yung 15,696 dito sa y plus 0.55 uh, magka-cancel din dito kasi magma-minus. So maiiwan natin is negative 15,696 times 0.55 meters. And 9810 times 0.30 that is 2,943 newtons per square meter. And dito naman yung a uh, product ito na 15,696 times 0.55 that is -8,632.8 newtons per square meter. So finally, ma-solve natin guys yung PM or the pressure at M. Eh pwede niyo guys i-pause yung video para ma-check yung pagka-calculate ni Engineer Gat. So finally, we have PM now na 5,689.3 newton per square meter and this is the answer for problem number 1. So another solution for problem number 1, for pressure at M, we can say that yung pressure dito, same nga dito sa kapantay niya kasi same yung elevation from the day 2. And yung pressure dito, hindi na natin kukunin yung length dito ng pipe kasi just like kanina sa solution 1, kumuha tayo ng value of X. 
eh pwede natin sabihin na same yung liquid, basta same yung liquid, same yung pressure, basta same yung elevation nila. So, yung pressure at M dito, same din dito. So, pare-pareha yung tatlo na yan, kasi same yung elevation from the datum. So, this is the pressure at M. So, that's, this is PM. Mag-summation naman tayo ng pressure. So, pag nagdagdag tayo or going downward tayo, pag kinuha natin dito yung pressure, ito yung kulay orange na yan, mag add tayo ng unit weight of water times 30 centimeters plus unit weight of water times 0.30 meters. Tapos yung pressure at this point, equal din dito kasi same yung elevation nila. So, yung pressure dito is equal to dito. Saka tayo magma-minus kasi going upward naman tayo. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative unit weight of the liquid times 0.55 meters. And saka natin equate sa 0. So, yung sagot dito sa solution 2, same lang naman sa solution 1, which is 5,689.3 newton per square meter. Pwede nyo guys i-pause yung video and i-check nyo yung solution kung same nga o yung sagot. And for problem number 1, you can use solution 2 in your exams. So, pareho lang naman yan. Basta yung principle ng pressure, pag same yung reference nila or same yung elevation nila from the datum, basta pantay, same dapat dun yung pressure. So, for number 2, basahin ko muna ulit yung problem. The pressure at point M is increased from 70 kPa to 105 kPa. This causes the top level of mercury to move 20 cm in the sloping tube. What is the inclination theta? So, yung, ito yung inclination theta and we have two liquids then. So, from point M or for pressure M, yung, yung liquid dito is water. Dito sa, sa tube, meron tayong mercury. Una, meron tayong PM1 na 70 kPa and another pressure, PM2, which is 105 kPa. So, after natin magdagdag ng pressure na 105 kPa, nagkaroon daw tayo ng movement in the sloping tube of our mercury na 20 cm. So, mangyayari sa magiging behavior ng liquid, so dito, bababa yung mercury natin dito na 20 cm and dito sa sloping tube, aangat din siya ng 20 cm across mismo or along the pipe. So, for solution, uh, first, gagamit tayo ng mga variables ulit just like the problem number 1. So, for example, or for this problem, let's say, yung variable natin for water na height niya hanggang dito sa surface ng mercury, yung variable natin is x. And yung pressure dito, same, syempre, same lang dito kasi pantay nga for, from the datum kasi same yung uh, elevation nila. And dito naman, from dito hanggang dito, hanggang sa exposure ng mercury sa atmosphere, yung gagamitin natin na variable is y. So, take note, yung x and y, hindi yan pantay. Ah. Hindi ito pantay dito, kaya gumamit ako ng dalawang variable. So, hindi pwedeng sabihin natin na mag agad na pantay yan. So, for this problem, yung gagamitin natin na solution is solution 2 from the problem number 1. Yung gagamitin natin for, for our first equation, yung gagamitin natin is PM1 or from 70 kPa na hindi pa gumagalaw yung mercury natin. So, PM1 plus going downward tayo for pressure, So, yung pressure na makuha natin at, natin as, at this point, so itong kulay orange na yan, so plus unit weight of the liquid na yung water nga muna times yung height niya is x. Then, yung pressure at this point is equal at the pressure at this point. Saka tayo mag ma minus kung aangat tayo. So, minus the unit weight of the mercury times yung height niya is y equal to zero kasi Uh, yung reference natin this time is atmospheric. So, isisiro natin yung atmosphere or atmospheric pressure. Let's say this is equation 1. So, after nag-increase nga from 70 to 100 kPa, nagkaroon na tayo ng movement na 20 cm. So, bababa dito, madadagdagan yung liquid na water and dito, aangat din siya. So, ito yung 20 cm. Pero yung kailangan natin na height is ito yung height na yan. So, para makuha natin yan, we will use trigonometry. So, kuha natin na yung triangle na yan. For example, this is the hypotenuse sa 20 cm. And yung kuha natin is this side. So, if we have theta, we can say that this 20 sin theta. So, so katawa. So, this is 20 sin theta. And pwede tayo mag-summation of pressure. So, mag-start ulit ako sa at point M. So, this time, syempre, gumalaw na yung mercury natin. Yung gagamitin natin, natin na pressure is PM2 or yung 105 kPa. And if we are going downward, mag-add tayo na pressures. So, mag-plus tayo ng unit weight of water. Pero this time, yung length ng water is X plus 0.2. Kasi nagdagdag tayo ng 20 cm. 
Then yung pressure dito is makukuha natin at this point. So itong kulay orange na yan. Then yung pressure dyan is equal din dito. Kasi sa pantay sila, same yung elevation. Then saka tayo magma-minus kasi going upward tayo. So at this point, so magma-minus tayo ng unit weight of the mercury times meron tayong height na y plus 0.2 dito plus 0.2 sine theta or ito yung 20 sine theta theta na naka-centimeters pa yan. So, dapat naka-meters lahat para consistent yung units natin. And equate natin sa zero. So, let's say this is equation 2. So, meron tayong equation 1 and equation 2. Pwede natin kunin yung difference between the two equations. So, i-minus natin. So, PM2 minus PM1. And ito, yung difference ito, yung unit weight of water times x plus 0.2. Tapos ito, so magkakansi ito ang unit weight of water times x. So, yung may one is positive unit weight of water times 0.2 meters. And dito naman, so minus, so mag, uh, negative times negative, that is positive. So, pag in sum mo yan, so magkakaroon tayo ng difference ulit na makakancel ulit yung unit weight of the mercury times y. So, yung may one is negative unit weight of mercury times 0.2 plus 0.2 sine theta equals to 0. So, simplify natin na yung unit weight of mercury that is also equal to the specific gravity of the mercury times the unit weight of water times 0.2 plus 0.2 sine theta equals to 0. So, we have the value of PM2 nga na 105 kilopascal or 105,000 newton per square meter minus 70,000 for PM1 plus yung unit weight of water that is 9,810 newton per cubic meter times 0.2 meters minus 13.6 this is the specific gravity of mercury times the unit weight of water 9810 newton per cubic meter times 0.2 meters plus 0.2 sine theta equals 0 so simplify so 105 minus 70,000 that is 35,000 and 9810 times 0.2 that is 1,962 newton per square meter then ito, 13.6 times 9810, that is 133,416 newton per cubic meter times 0.2 meters plus 0.2 sine theta equals 0. So 35,000 plus 1,962, that is 36,962 newton per square meter. And ito, ilipatan sa kabila, kaya naging positive. So divide both sides by 133,416, na magkakaroon tayo ng 0 0.277 meters equals to 0.2 plus 0.2 meters sine theta. So, pwede nyo guys dito i-pause yung ulit yung video and i-check yung pagka-calculate ng engineer jet. So, combine like terms, so 0 0.277 minus 0 0.2 meters, that is 0 0.077, equals to 0 0.2 meters sine theta, so divide both sides by 0 0.2. So, finally, arc sine yan, that is equal to, the theta is now, is 22.6571607 degrees and this is the answer for problem number 2 so that's it hanggang dun muna tayo guys sa mga solving of pressures sa mga example problems and thank you for watching